She always said this was giving handmade Amish vibes, so I don't, you tell me. Well... Either way, I'm gonna continue wearing frilly stuff like this. Hi friends, my name is Financial Support Today, and yes, the title's true. No clickbait, nothing like that. If you haven't seen the last video, I suggest you go watch that because I explain at the end, very briefly, what happened with my roommate. It's in fact my boyfriend. <laughs> I don't want to get into why I chose to do this. I mean, first of all, I feel confident doing it. It's my own life. I don't need people to explain why it's a good or bad decision. I've heard it all from my parents who are actually very supportive of it. My sister who was very skeptical about it and my friends who are both like happy and also like be cautious because y'all have been dating for 11 months, 10 months, almost 11. I've heard it all. We both know the risk going into it, but the point of it is that we trust each other enough. So let me do what I want. And if it doesn't go well, well, that's life. You know, I could, I will live on. That being said, yes, I moved in with my boyfriend. His name is Joey, if you didn't know. Yes, I have a boyfriend. Some people still don't know that. I'm not gonna explain the apartment stuff you've seen in the last video, but now today we're just gonna be talking about the moving process. Cause that is around 100 gigabytes worth of footage. So buckle up, I got a lot of shit in this apartment. So I need to explain how how it somehow fits. After we got the keys to the apartment, I managed to get like two handfuls of clothing. I basically took my cart and a few bags that I could, anything I could hold within my hands and on the subway. And I just moved that into the closet. So I did move the rainbow clothing there. I wanted that out of my closet as soon as possible. Yes, I have returned most of it. I did keep the rainbow blazer just because it is iconically ugly. But the stuff I moved is like not even anything. Like it wasn't even in a box. I think it was maybe 10 pieces of clothing each trip. It was just, I happened to be going to this area. So why not just move stuff if I can? It's also the middle of summer. So it's like easily 90 degrees just because it's so humid here. It was not something I was looking forward to because I don't like moving. I've moved three times in my life, I think, and each time I hate it just because it's so annoying. I get mad at everything, even my parents. I'm toxic as hell. It's something I need to work on, but I just lose all patience during these days. Back at the current apartment, I had to start taking posters off the walls, decorations, all of those I had to fold flat. And I also noticed that most of the tape ripped off the paper of my decorations and posters. Let me know if there's a certain tape that is safe for all of this because I, I'm so scared to put tape on again. And I also don't have frames to put them on. So I haven't put up posters yet because I don't want to ruin shit. At this point, I started packing up all my clothes. That was one of the biggest things that you should focus on because you don't need like every single piece of clothing in your closet when you're about to move. You just need like a few pairs of shorts, obviously like stuff you're going to need throughout the next few days, but not a winter jacket. So those are all in boxes. And initially the plan was for me to move everything by myself throughout the next two weeks because this was like beginning of July and my lease in this apartment ends July 14th. But my parents had already bought an air conditioner, this bed, <laughs> the, all of it, the bed frame, the nightstand, the dresser, which is right there. Say hi to the plants. A lot of stuff that like we do need and I am obviously thankful for them for getting, but I didn't expect them to get the extent of all this stuff. This stuff? So they had to come anyways. So the plan was I'm gonna go home, see what they have, try to fit even more stuff if I could, like plates, kitchen stuff, a few more decorations at home that I left. Go to New York, we live in New Jersey, so it's like an hour and 30 by car. Move all the big furniture first, then go to my apartment and then move back. So that would have been two trips basically. Spoiler alert, it was around four or five. Anyways, we're gonna talk about what happened. I was procrastinating on packaging all my stuff because I thought I could do it in one day, it's not that bad. And I was finishing the end of my summer classes so I wasn't really like focused on doing this stuff. But just be aware, organize your stuff as possible. Put them in boxes, write them down, tape the bottom so it doesn't spill out and categorize everything. You don't wanna do this stuff the day of. It gets, it, that's how you get annoyed. So basically I packed up everything but my desk and my bed because I was still planning to sleep there because I didn't wanna fully move out yet. My Wi-Fi was still in that apartment. I didn't wanna be Wi-Fi-less here because it was the same 
thing I would be using. The TV was there. It was only like stuff that I knew I could carry solo. It would just take a few trips with me and Joey or just an Uber. It wasn't anything that serious that I was like, this has to be in the car. I didn't care if it couldn't fit in the car, but like it would be nice if it could. So day one, my sister is in town because she wanted to help move stuff out and she went on the train to get here. So the train is around an hour to an hour 30. It takes you to Penn Station and I lived on 14th Street and then my parents, because they could not fit her because there's only two seats left, they drove up themselves. So I went to meet my sister at 12 p.m. Hello. Hi. Hello. I pick her up, we go to my apartment. I show her around the area. She's like, cool. And let's see where mom and dad are. They are somehow 30 minutes away or like 40 minutes. And I noticed they're in Jersey City. If you live in New Jersey, you know that's not the route to get to New York. You go under Manhattan. You don't have to go to the left. Somehow they ended up there. I called them. My dad said they missed a turn. He's the one driving. He's known to miss GPS signals. So I'm like, okay, we'll just wait in the apartment and I guess just look at furniture because we needed to start thinking about couches and what we want for decorations. Do we need any shelves, etc. 30 minutes go by. I still don't know where they are. Call them again. They're still 30 minutes away. It's the same spot. What's taking so long? Oh, we missed another turn. They missed like the most important exit to get them on a bridge and then they had to loop back around. So they're an hour late. Eventually they get there. I say, hi, how are you? You know, nah, ha, ha. And then I notice there's like a whole bunch of stuff in the bed, filled to the brim. Did you, uh, did you put some, stack some on here? Did you? Stack, <laughs> stack some on top of me. <laughs> Stop. I told you all initially I was going to go home to try to fit a little bit more stuff and just see what they had. They told me don't bother because it would be like kind of a waste of money to just take the train only to go back the next day. I wanted to escort my sister there. I didn't want her going on the train alone. But my parents said there's no point because you will not be able to fit anything. This is filled to the brim. And I was like, I trust your gut. I will stay in New York. And they were right. It's filled to the top of the car. And I'm just thinking, what did they actually buy? Aside from that, we had to start moving stuff because I had to get to my older apartment to move that stuff too. The first move was mainly just big pieces of wood that were part of the bed, the big dresser, the cabinets, or what do you call them? The drawers for the dresser. Everything was separated, so we just moved them in chunks. I was trying to do the bulk of the work because I did not want my dad to do the heavy stuff. Not because I want to show off, because I really can't, but I don't want to risk him being injured. He's, you know, over 50 years old. Not trying to break his back or anything. So either I was helping him move one piece or my sister and I were moving stuff. She like runs marathons every week, so she's probably stronger than me at this point. I say the first move took around an hour to get everything in. It wasn't too bad, it was just like cold outside, but also really warm inside my apartment. My dad started setting up the bed and my mom started to set up the kitchen, just like take out little things. And I told them to stay there while me and my sister go back to our apartment with the car and then we'll come back soon with the stuff. My sister did drive initially because I didn't feel comfortable. I was not gonna risk getting into an accident. I know my strengths. I'm not good on a highway in New York City. I can handle regular streets. So I said, just let's be safe. I did end up driving the other days because there's there's many more to come. This apartment did have a parking garage underneath so I didn't have to go too far to get my stuff. And I gave the guy my keys. I said, I'm moving. It should take about an hour or an hour and 30 max. And they said, okay. We take one of those hotel things that people use for their suitcases and we move it up to my apartment. And we start packing stuff because I still didn't finish packing everything. We start shoving stuff in these moving boxes and these bags if you need any tips on like where to get them go to virtually any store if it's a grocery one ask for egg boxes because they come with handles on the side and it's really useful so packing alone took around 45 minutes just because i still had so much stuff that i didn't do beforehand which is my fault so it delayed our moving time we move it all into the little hotel thing i don't know what it's called and then we get downstairs and my car is gone. For some reason, it went into the storage, like where people actually take their cars and leave it for the night. I don't know why they did that, but I had to tell them, hey, I'm moving. Could I please get my car back so I can put stuff in the trunk? And that took 
10 more minutes. So that's already an hour up on our moving time in the parking garage. While I'm moving stuff, I also happened to spill my nail polish everywhere. So it smelled like acetone. It got on my shoes. It got in the car. It got on the floor of the parking garage. It was just God testing my patience saying, how do I, how do I ruin his day even more and make him even more mad at life? But eventually we got everything in after an hour and 30 minutes. And this is what the car looked like. As you can see, it's filled to the brim. And there's also more stuff to come because I still had my bed in there, my desk, fish tank, you, kitchen stuff that I literally forgot about taking. So it was gonna be another trip, another day, or for me to just slowly move stuff in and out. Either way, we were driving back. Here's a view of the Brooklyn Bridge. It's very pretty. You can walk it if you want to. And we head back to my apartment where we start moving the rest of the stuff. By this point, my dad had already finished the bed frame finished the dresser. My mom had a good amount of stuff that was organized in the kitchen. I didn't bring cleaning supplies for them because one, I know my mom, she would have gone insane trying to clean this room. And I did not want to do that to her because I knew I would still be moving stuff and it would just get dirty again. And I'm not going to clean, get dirty, clean again, only for it to get dirty the next day. You know what I mean? I did everything I could to not get her to clean anything because I said, it's not worth it. Let the dirt stay. I will do it myself another day. So we start moving everything in. The apartment starts to get cluttered because I and tell them, oh, this should go there. Please move that there because I didn't know how to organize the apartment yet. I also wanted Joey to have a say in where we put stuff. So I just said, leave it in the living room or just leave it in the bedroom floor. And it kind of filled up like, <laughs> kind of filled up a little bit. After I'd say another hour and 30 minutes, it was basically 6 p.m. at this point, And they initially came at 12, at least my sister. Everything was emptied. My parents brought food for us, so we just ate there. We also ate snacks along the way. And that was the first day of moving. They eventually went home. I said goodbye, did the ah. I didn't record that because I think it's freaking weird when influencers record like sentimental moments. It's like, are you actually being sentimental or did you just want that for the camera? So I said goodbye to them, they went home. I cried a little bit on the way back into the apartment. What do you expect from me? I'm a cancer. And I had a whole apartment filled to clean up. It looked like a tornado flew through here. So I decided to take a nap on the mattress. At this point, I didn't have a mattress cover, nor did I have a bed sheet. So I was sleeping on literal plastic. Like it's the, it's what it comes in. I didn't care. I was exhausted. So the next week would be just me slowly coming here, taking time to move stuff in and out because I had nothing to do. Did I do a lot though? Mm, no, because, uh, I was lazy. So not everything was cared for. I did come back eventually to take care of the plants because I did successfully move my plants without them getting completely ruined. I don't know how that happened. I just shoved them in a box, don't ask. But for the most part, everything stayed pretty much the same. But the problem was my parents wanted to come back again because they somehow found a cabinet. Not one, two, that I said, why? Because we don't know where to put that. It's not gonna fit here. Everything's already filled to the brim. My sister wasn't part of this because she went home back to DC at that point. But my mom had a weekend off. She said, we wanna come up again just to see everything and to help you move a little bit more. And also fun fact, we have two cabinets to bring. And I was like, okay. Most of the stuff was at a very discounted price. I think the whole dresser, bed and nightstand was like 150. My dad's just really good at Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and finding stuff on the streets. So I told him, okay, I'll come visit and we'll leave the next day to bring back stuff because it was not worth it for me to tell them, hey, there's this thing in this corner of my bedroom. Can you please bring it back for me? It wasn't worth it. I decided to come home and we organized even more stuff. I wanted to take back everything in my initial filming room because I had art stuff there. This is why you don't wear mascara. I have officially said the word stuff at least one time per minute because I didn't start counting until three minutes in and I'm not really paying attention too much. So it could really be more than 23 at this point. Tell me if I'm wrong, please. This is so embarrassing just because this is a new problem. It's when people say like or um a bunch of times, except for me, it's stuff. And it's also why you should use a script when you're making a video. Anyways, carry on. A few more decorations I wanted, like posters. So now it's July 7th. I'm about to be going home. Before I did that, I did want to just organize the rest of the stuff so that I know we don't have to pack it there. So I broke down my desk. I took it into like four or five parts. There was this top part that I knew I could carry by myself. And then 
the wooden part and then the two legs. I moved Levi to a corner because I said, you will come the last day, <laughs> like very last day of moving, not even this move. Don't worry about him. I have my friends feed him for him, okay? He can also last like a day without it. He can go on a diet. After that, I had to pack up the rest of my camera equipment. I had all the kitchen stuff to get, like blenders, tools, spices, just really random stuff that like I just happened to buy that, oh, I need to put this in there. I also had to think about the TV, the Wi-Fi, the bean bag. I'm not gonna talk about that yet. We'll get there. I had the rest of my skincare stuff that I just said, I will put that all in one bag and take it home with me because I need to use that. And this is everything I had until I realized, no, I still had more stuff. This is everything I thought I needed to bring home, which isn't even true. I still had other stuff lying around that I forgot about. Oh my God. I think I was not recording this entire- Oh, I don't even know where I left off. Like, okay, I can do this. Hopefully this is actually where I stopped recording. This is everything I still had to bring back to my apartment from the old area. And I still forgot other stuff. This is like 90% of everything. Either way, I packed my bags, took the train home, had a nice dinner with my family. And after that, I had to start organizing stuff there. So I had stuff in the basement, like a clothing rack, decorations, just a desk lamp, kitchen stuff. I had no plates, any silverware, none of that. Needed to bring like oil, of all things, storage for leftovers, everything that you need in the kitchen, I still had to bring. Also, I ended up bringing this vase of all things because it was just really pretty and it caught my eye. My dad found it for free somehow. And as for myself, in the filming room, I had plushies that I needed to put away and bring back for decoration. Here they are. A lot of extra clothes that have just been accumulating and I wanted to sell or just donate them. Decorations, I had a lot of posters in that room as well. A lot of other art stuff and that was basically it so this is everything we managed to find we wake up early at 10 a.m i start putting stuff away in the car and at this point my dad said you're going to have to take the train back and i thought why it's because we have two cabinets and you won't be able to fit once again i did not know they already put the cabinets in there they did that beforehand so i noticed like it was basically taking up half of the car i don't want two cabinets it's i didn't even ask for one obviously i'm appreciative of it but like they didn't tell me it would be this big. They insisted that both of them could fit in my closet. And while it could, I wouldn't be able to walk. And it's supposed to be a walk-in closet. So I'd rather it stay that way. It would be so crammed in there. It would not be enjoyable. And also we have enough space to store stuff. You'll find out in the next video. So after five minutes of arguing, I got him to say no. So we took one cabinet out. I put everything else in and we could fit three people. My mom, as you notice, is sitting in the back seat, not in an actual car seat, on the floor because we took it out and my dad said it won't fit if we put it back in. It would have. I know damn well it would have. But my mom insisted that she likes sitting on there because she could sleep on the floor. And I, I don't know. I knew it would be unsafe. And also I'm the one driving back to New York, so I don't want to risk anything. So picture me, you know, first time driving in months, going back to New York on the highways, hour and 30 drive, my dad and my mom are asleep, so it all rests on me not crashing and also doing anything stupid. We got there safely, yay, and we start unpacking the car. If you're moving in New York, usually it's hard to find parking area. Thankfully, the area I live in is more residential, so it's not like a lot of cars driving by it every second. Those sides aren't filled to like people parallel parking with this much space in between so i parked close to my apartment it was in front of a fire hydrant i know that's illegal but my dad said it won't take long for us to unpack and after we finish unpacking i'll park it somewhere else i didn't want to do it but my dad refused to walk an extra 10 steps i get it you know like i wouldn't want to do that either but i also don't want to lose the car so we start moving everything in the car again. My mom's taking the small stuff. I'm taking the bigger stuff or just helping my dad with it. The cabinet was like the last thing we brought in and it wasn't even that heavy. It was just big. It was only a few flights of stairs, so it wasn't that bad. And then we decided my dad and I would go back to the old apartment and get the rest of the stuff there while my mom stayed here, started organizing the kitchen and just unpacking everything. So no, this footage is not me taking it, okay? I'm the one driving and my dad actually took this footage. I helped him set up the camera. That's the highway near me and it's the fast this way to get home it's like a 16 minute drive only somehow we go back in the parking garage it's the same dude he's probably like wondering how did you what why are you moving again but it's fine i told him it'd be an hour max and he said okay i'll let you stay out here he didn't take my car this time and my dad's already done this once so i said well why not we both take a hotel card up and try to fit in the elevator which we did this time it was just boxes and a few bags the big stuff was the tv that we had to put a towel on and pray that it didn't get scratched that took an hour max to do 
The only thing is I still had that bean bag to think about and I told him let's not bring it back because it wouldn't fit here. I also wanted an actual couch, not a bean bag for us to sleep on because I still didn't know where we'd put it. So that was my last thing I would think about. Put everything in the car. Eventually we drove back and my mom has already finished organizing the majority of the kitchen. She also started cleaning a lot of stuff because she brought the surface wipes this time. So we actually brought curtains and curtain rods for the windows because they didn't come with any and you don't have to bring that stuff. If anything, you can just bring like paper curtains to just glue on the top and pull down. I just wanted rods instead because I like long... I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. They look prettier to me. And while he's installing stuff, I'm just unpacking everything else, trying to see if there's too much stuff that I have to bring home. And actually, we didn't have to bring everything home because I managed to fit it all somehow. I'm not gonna get into decorating or how I organized yet because that, it, that in itself is an entire video. And if I put that in here, I would be talking for more than three hours on camera. And also, I don't want a 15 minute video to upload. But day two of moving was four or five hours. So I took my parents out on a nice dinner and then I said goodbye to them. Ah, yay, you know, see you soon. And I passed out again on a mat this time. You're probably wondering, where's Joey in all of this? Why have you not said anything about him? That's because he was still at home. He flew back three days after this move. So I had some time to start organizing stuff and preparing for his move because I, at this point, you could not walk. You can't even get into the kitchen without stepping through stuff. And I've already shown him like, oh, this is the mess we have. And he's like, it's fine, we'll figure it out. But I also didn't want to have him look at the insanity that is a tornado going through this apartment. But when he came back, we started organizing stuff. And I don't consider that moving. I consider that like decorating. All right, so I'm outside and I see him like in the distance because he has my yellow suitcase. Y'all see him? There he is. Look at him. Look at him! Ready to see it? So many things. So many things. Uh, why are you locking me out? Why not? It's so pretty. You like it? Yeah. Our final day of moving was when we went back to my old apartment because we had to turn in our keys and also where the fuck is that beanbag gonna go? So I brought Joey with me. We only brought the cart because I knew my fish tank could fit in there. And I said, there's not much stuff left. No, I get there and my roommates told me, you have this stuff, there's this stuff. Uh, do you want this? You know, you missed some kitchen stuff here. I also completely forgot about the fridge. I didn't even think about that. My roommate also had a desk she was gonna throw away, but Joey said he would take it because he needed a desk anyways, and it was free. So at that point with Levi and the cart full and also like, two bags I'm carrying and a desk and packages that were also being sent there. We could not take this on the subway. Two of us with that much stuff, it would be hell. Sure, we could eventually get there, but at this point, since it's like day three of moving officially, and also I've been organizing for like a whole week, I will pick and choose when to save money. At this point, I said, let's just take an Uber. I will pay for it. I don't give a shit. I'm not moving Levi on a subway and carrying a cart and also a desk somehow. Could you do it? Yeah, but is it worth it? To me, no, because I am done struggling. Also, if you follow my Twitter, the Uber driver turned out to be very racist. So I reported him, I talked to Uber. They gave me a refund, so it was a free ride anyways. And as for the bean bag, we said goodbye to her. She went to the trash room instantly because we couldn't move it. It's so big. Let's go. <laughs> Like Let's do it. I'll be back. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> it wouldn't even fit in the Uber car. It's also like not, how do you say, fashionable? It's fashion meets. <laughs> it's fashion. It's, excuse me. It's fashion. <laughs> it's fashion. Is it, fa wait, what is it, fashion? It's fashion. <laughs> I know y'all think I love yellow all this time, and yes I do, but I also wanted a green couch and like a nice looking living room. So we said goodbye to it, it's fine. She did what she needed to do, and that is the final day of moving. Not the final day of apartment stuff though, because we still have been organizing to this day. I think we've been doing the stuff for two weeks now, cleaning, setting up stuff, decorating. So that is the final video we'll do next week. Until then, this is the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more videos every week. I try to post every Saturday, and if I'm late, it's because I got too lazy or 
I've just been busy. We'll get back to regular videos soon. Trust me, I got a lot of art stuff planned. There's a reason why I brought all that from home. And also fan art of the week, I keep forgetting to do it, is this person. Thank you so much for submitting it. You are amazing. You're talented. I'm sorry I keep forgetting to do this part because I just, I'm a forgetful person. Hence why my bio is below average YouTuber because I'm not prepared. But if you want to submit something, just tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I will eventually see it. And as always, I love you all and everything is less than three. And I'm gonna go to sleep now because I have been recording for 30 minutes extra and it's already been two hours. <sighs> I'm tired and I'm hungry. I, I haven't even eaten all day.